Jasper Halton was born prematurely, which caused damage to his retina, leading to visual impairment. When he is alone and needs help, he pulls out his smartphone and uses a mobile app called Be My Eyes, which connects visually impaired people with sighted volunteers via video call. I want to have a level of confidence that I don't necessarily have in unfamiliar spaces. That if the AI technology can help me gaining or regaining that level of confidence, uh, that, that would really be something. BMI's mobile app has had an AI patch upgrade thanks to OpenAI's new ChatGPT image to text generator. Users can now send photos via the app to an AI powered virtual volunteer, which provides almost instantaneous identification. I use it on a fairly regular basis, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, it tends to be in uh, daily situations like when I'm cooking food and want to have a look at tents, especially. Uh, tents and cans with food stuff can be very hard to ascertain what's in it. Of course, you can shake it, but it could be uh, coconut milk or it could be canned tomatoes. I wouldn't be able to tell. They can even add follow-up questions such as how long should I cook this pasta? Moreover, if a user sends a picture of the inside of their refrigerator, the virtual volunteer can identify what's in it and also suggest what can be prepared with those ingredients. I see a potential for people to have more independence. For some people, it can even be difficult to ask other people for help. But as if you ask a machine, well, it's a machine, so it's there to serve you. Be My Eyes was launched in 2015 and now claims almost half a million blind and low vision users plus 6.4 million sighted volunteers. The app can provide assistance in around 180 different languages. The founder of the app came up with the idea in 2012 when he was trying to find a way to get visual assistance when alone. I have really had a hard time sleeping since this <laughs> because I think there is so many uh, possibilities uh, where this could go. And, and, and right now, it is only a, a, a picture that you can get described. But if we can get this to work on a, a video screen where you can kind of walk and, and get things described to you. For now, the virtual volunteer is still in closed beta testing and now available for widespread use. Weiberg says they don't plan on ditching their sighted volunteers anytime soon. But developers are already excited by the possibilities.